Welcome to the spoken tutorial on inserting text in objects in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, we will learn to insert text in objects, format the text, work with text boxes, set indents, space and align the text, add text to lines and arrows, and Insert text within callouts. Text can be added in two ways. It can be directly inserted into an object, including on lines and arrows. It can be inserted into a text box as an independent draw object. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Let us open our water-cycle.odg file which we created earlier in this series. The files used in this tutorial have been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and then use them for practicing. As we work on this file, remember to press Ctrl S to save the file frequently. We shall add the text cloud formation to the two white clouds next to the sun. Select the white cloud group, double click in order to enter the group. On the standard toolbar, click on the icon named insert text box or you can press the F2 key on the keyboard. Now move the cursor to the top white cloud on the drop page. Press the left mouse button and drag as shown. Release the mouse button to see the text box. Can you see the cursor has transformed into a small vertical blinking line? This is the text cursor. Let us type the text cloud formation. Now click anywhere on the page. Let us type the same text for the other white cloud too. To exit the group, double click anywhere on the page. Let us now name the sun in the same way. Typing text inside objects cannot get simpler than this. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Now let us select a grey cloud group. As before, double click on it to enter the group. Type rain cloud in each cloud. As the text in the grey clouds is black in color, it is not visible clearly. Let us change the color of the text to white. To do so, first select the text and then click on the properties icon in the sidebar. Click on the drop down beside the font color icon and select white color. In the same manner, let us change the text color of the second cloud. Double click anywhere on the page to exit the group. Close the properties pane. Likewise, type the word mountain inside the triangle that depicts the mountain. Save the file. We can format the text for character that is change font styles and give special effects to fonts. Paragraph that is align the text, set indents or spacing and set tab positions. We can access these dialog boxes either from the context menu or from the main menu. In the main menu, go to format, then select character to open the character dialog box. Let us close this dialog box. Go to the format menu again, then select paragraph to open the paragraph dialog box. Close the paragraph dialog box. Let us continue with our drawing. In the rectangle, let us draw a thick black line to show groundwater accumulation. Let us draw a horizontal line that will divide the rectangle into two equal halves. From the drawing toolbar, select insert line. Move the cursor to the page. Press the left mouse button and drag from left to right. The rectangle is now divided into two parts. Now let's make the line thicker. Select the line and right click for the context menu. Click on the line option to open the line dialog box. 
By default, the Line tab is open. Under Line Properties, in the Style field, click on the drop-down box. Select two dots, three dashes. In the Color drop-down, change the color to black. In the Width field, enter the value point 0.70 cm and click OK button. The line is now thicker. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Next, let us insert the text Groundwater Table inside the rectangle. Select the Insert Text Box tool on the Standard Toolbar. Move to the Drop page. Press the left mouse button and drag as shown inside the bottom half of the rectangle. A text box appears. Here, type Groundwater Table. To align the text to the center of the text box, place the cursor inside the text box. Click on the double arrow icon on the standard toolbar. A list of text formatting tools is seen. Select Align Center icon from the tools. Following the same steps, let us add text inside the triangle also. Rainwater flows from land into rivers and sea. Now let's arrange all the arrows in the diagram. These indicate evaporation of water from land, vegetation and water bodies to the clouds. Select the leftmost arrow, drag and adjust the arrow from land to clouds. Select the middle arrow now. Drag and place the arrow from trees towards clouds. Drag the third arrow towards the clouds to show evaporation from water bodies. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Next, let us use the curve option to draw a line that shows water running down the mountains. From the drawing toolbar, click on the drop down besides curve icon and select Freeform Line. On the drop page, place the cursor next to the mountain. Press the left mouse button and drag down. This is how a curved line is drawn. Now let's add descriptions to these arrows. Select the first arrow to the right and type evaporation from rivers and seas. Click anywhere on the page. The text appears on the line. Notice that the text is placed exactly on the line and hence is not readable. To move the text above the line, click on the line. We see that the text is placed horizontally. Place the cursor at the end of the text and press the Enter key on the keyboard. Click anywhere on the page. The text gets aligned. The text typed on lines and arrows can also be formatted using options from the standard toolbar. Let us format the font size using the standard toolbar. Click on the view menu on the main menu. Go to the toolbars option and select text formatting. This enables the text formatting options like font name, font size, style, font color on the standard toolbar. Let us select the text written besides the arrow. Then go to the font size in the standard toolbar and change the size to 14. The size of the font has changed. Observe that the text is truncated here. We will bring the text to front to see it clearly. Select the arrow. From the Arrange menu, select Bring to Front option. Now the text is clearly seen. Now let us type text for all the other arrows one by one as shown. Evaporation from soil, evaporation from vegetation, run of water from the mountains. Observe that the text on the arrows is in the reverse direction. This is because we have drawn the arrows from top to bottom. Let us delete the arrows. Select the arrows and press delete key on the keyboard. Now to add the arrows, 
go to the drawing toolbar, click on lines and arrows and select line ends with arrow. Place the cursor on the draw page and drag to draw an arrow. Similarly, draw the second arrow. Now type the text on the arrows as before. Then reduce the font size to 14 from the standard toolbar for all the arrows. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Next let us show rain falling from the grey clouds. We will draw dotted arrows which point downward to show rain from the clouds. From the drawing toolbar, click on the drop down next to lines and arrows. Then select line ends with arrow. Now place the cursor on the first grey cloud to the left. Press the left mouse button and drag it down. Right click for the context menu and click on line. The line dialog box appears. Under line properties, click on the style drop down list and select two dots one dash. Then click on OK button. A dotted arrow is seen. Let us copy and paste one more arrow for this cloud. Let's now copy and paste two such arrows for the other cloud. Then let's add the text rain to the dotted arrows. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Next we will type an appropriate text in the text box just above the water object. From the standard toolbar, select the insert text box tool and draw a text box as shown. Type evaporation to form the clouds inside it. Once again, from the standard toolbar, select the insert text box tool. Draw a text box next to the grey clouds. Type condensation to form rain inside it. Move the text box by clicking on the border of the text box. Now drag and drop it in the desired location. Following the previous steps, let us give a title, Water Cycle Diagram using a text box and format the text to bold. We have successfully completed drawing the water cycle diagram. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Now let's briefly learn about callouts. Callouts are special text boxes that call our attention to or point to an object or location in the draw page. Most comic books, for example, have text placed inside callouts. For this part of the demo, let's add a new page to our draw file first. So, right click on the page for the context menu, go to the page option and click on new page. A new page is inserted. To draw a callout, go to the drawing toolbar, click on the drop down next to the callout icon. Various callouts are displayed. Let us click on Rectangular Callout. Move the cursor to the page, press the left mouse button and drag. That's how we draw a callout. We can enter text inside the callout just as we did for the other objects. Double click and type the text. This is an example inside the callout. Likewise, we can insert any text or callout in our drawing as per our requirements. Save all the changes and close the file. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to Insert text in objects Format the text Work with text boxes Set indents Space and align the text. Add text to lines and arrows and insert text within callouts. Try out this assignment by yourself. Open mypractice.odg file. Add a new page. Create a notebook label and an invitation as shown in the slide. 
Here is another assignment for you. In mypractice.odg file, add another new page and draw a square. Insert the following text. A square has four equal sides and four equal angles. Each angle in a square is 90 degrees. The square is a quadrilateral. Format this text using the options in the text dialog box. Apply the font, size, style and alignment options to the text. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by Ministry of Education, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desikru Solutions Private Limited in 2011. The script for this tutorial was written by Nikita Msel from IIT Bombay. And this is Madhuri Ganpati along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thank you for watching.